Hello, I'm Milt Tandy. I'm the president of Wirecrafters. Today I'm with Kirk Anderson from McGee Equipment out of the Atlanta area. Kirk, welcome to Louisville. Good to be here. All right. All right, a couple quick questions for you. What are your goals for 2023? Wow. Um, well, coming off of 2022 with such explosive growth, uh, we're kind of just holding on. Um, but we, we're, we really need to invest in infrastructure and people. Okay. Uh, so whether it be uh, technology, but but certainly in additional uh, support people. Is there a new market that you would like to look into here in the near future? Yes, actually, we are um, licensed general contractors, so we are we are looking oh. to expand that area of the business. So uh, when you talk about mezzanines or even conventional construction, we are fully capable of that. So that's that 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 started in 2022 and we see that as, as a big growth opportunity next year all right as far as driving leads and going after new customers what's the best way you have found to do that well certainly uh, Google still drives a, a great deal of our spend push marketing uh, through case studies and, and, and blogs uh, is also a big part of it the overall industry material handling in general there is so much going on what do you see really changing in the coming years in this industry? Certainly, I think it's at its infancy, really. I, I, I believe it's at, a, at an area now where it's not just going to be the largest, the richest distributors and, and handlers of materials that can afford automation. I think that's going to be a bigger part. It's going to have to start trickling down because if, if you don't become more efficient, if you still are throwing a lot of people at projects uh, and, it, and at, your, at your business, you're going to be uh, left behind in the future, I believe. Yeah. I talk with so many different owners and managers of material handling companies, and everyone's having that problem of bringing in the new talent, bringing in new people that want to work in our industry. What should someone be looking for? What should they expect when they get in material handling? Well, I've been in it for a long time, <laughs> and it's been good to me. And uh, and again, I th I think it, it offers so much now for for the for the younger person. It's it's changing all the time. It's extremely interactive. It pays very well. Uh, so as 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 much as you put in is as much as it it's going to give give out. And again, I think there's such enormous growth potential that uh, it's a it's a terrific time to get into material yeah. handling. And do you feel like? you need a college degree or someone with a pretty good mechanical aptitude could do real well uh, in this industry. Yeah, ab ab absolutely. I mean, I think, I think uh, most people in material handling do not have a specific degree. It's, it's an interesting uh, fact to point out. So that, that's really a discipline. Uh, if you have that college degree that I think says, okay, you're, you're good for this industry, but it's not necessary at all because it's experience. Uh, it's jumping with both feet, get experience under you, and then you become very valuable. Very good. Well, Kirk, thank you very much. And uh, we'll try to do this again another time.